feel it's low. Hi, welcome for this new episode of Real Talk Manifestation at Speak Up and Empower. It's our weekly rendezvous every Wednesday, 1.30 p.m. EST. So it's really a great pleasure for me to be with you again this week. And if you're watching this live, feel free to leave a comment and say hi. And if you're watching the replay, also say hi. And if you have any question, feel free to post your question. I will get back to you at the end of the recording or later on today. So. It's a great pleasure to be here and thank you for watching this with me. I wanted to talk today about emotions because we are talking about manifestation in this uh, webcast. We are talking about creating the life we want. We are talking about creating the relationship of our dreams, manifesting our dream home, dream car, whatever we want to manifest, maybe success or anything we want to talking about manifesting manifestation and how to manifest all those things in the easiest and fastest way possible. Interestingly enough, uh, studies show that 94% of people that have tried or used the law of attraction didn't get results or poor results. So it's really interesting. We had so many resources. We had so many books and videos and trainings and coaching around that big topic of manifestation. And yet somehow 94% of the people following all those, you know, steps, all those trainings, all those coachings and all those things, affirmations and all the great tools we have about the law of attractions don't get results why is that and i was one of those people honestly i was one of them uh, after i watched the secret i was so fired up you know i was paying attention to to my thoughts i was you know declaring what i want setting the intention doing all those things and i was i even you know paid coaches to you know that were good at manifestation and teaching you how to manifest and what came out of there was just a lot of frustration because I knew I was doing all those things. I knew I was following the steps. I was doing my best. I was really, you know, following the process. But somehow I was still frustrated by what was happening because it wasn't exactly what I wanted. Sometimes I would see a sign that looked like what I wanted, but I wasn't happy. I wasn't satisfied with the results. But I didn't give up because I knew it works. I saw results in other people's lives. I saw other people, you know, like say, share their stories and it was incredible. So I knew the problem was in the law of attraction. It works. If it works for one person or two persons, that means it works. So why not, why wasn't it working for me? And I don't know what's your story with manifestation or law of attraction. I've, you know, run some surveys sometimes, and a lot of people say it works great. You know, they have results, they do their affirmations, they set intentions, they get results. And some people just say that's just bullshit. If you want something, work hard and make it happen. And sometimes you cannot have it, it is what it is, life it is what it is. So I was confused. What was the real secret in life to have what you want? What was the real reason why some people seemed to have it all, to have whatever they wanted. They seemed happy and they seemed to, whatever, whenever they wanted something to just see it manifest it. So I was thinking about it and researching about it and still working on it. And I realized something, we're all different. How are we different? 
we are different because we have different stories. We have different experiences in life. We have different paths in life. And anything we went through or we are still going through in life creates stories in us. And the main story, the true line on all the stories people have, trauma or emotions or deceptions and all those things that create stories, the true line is mainly and 99% of the time, the human being, we never feel enough. We never feel good enough for what we want. We never feel worthy. So even though we do all those things, we we, we, we set intentions, we do affirmations, we do all those practice. Inside of us, we have something that makes us feel not good enough. We believe we don't deserve those things. So even though we say we want them, even though we declare we want them, even though we do the affirmations every morning, we write it down, I don't know how many times a day, we declare it. We believe we are not good enough for that. We, 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 we believe it and sometimes we don't know that's the tricky part and there is something in us that just makes us feel not good enough and because we don't feel good enough we always believe that we have to do a lot of things to be worthy of what we want we want to work really hard to deserve it because some way somehow we believe we're not good enough so we have to do something we have to even when we do the affirmations even when we, we, we set the intentions, even when we do all those law of attraction techniques, we do them in the same mindset, in the mindset of, I am not good enough, so I have to do all these things in order for me to have what I want. So we are not doing the affirmations and all that is great. It's a way to do it. You have to believe in what you want and you have to, to set that intention and pour energy into that, to, for, that to for that to happen. But what kind of energy are you bringing in? Are you coming with the knowing that you deserve it, that you're enough, good enough for what you want? And when you do the affirmations, you come, you come from a place of, I know that what, what, this is what I want and I know I'm going to have it just because I'm, I'm good enough. Not because I'm making, doing all this, not because I'm writing it 100 times a day, not because I'm spending three months repeating that every morning, it's not about all of that. It's not about all those things we do. Because if we go there, like, okay, if I do this for a week or for 21 days, I, I will deserve it. Then I will be good enough to have it because I have done it for 21 days. So I don't know if you see the mindset here. The mindset here is I'm going to have it because I earned it. Because I followed the process for 21 days. So I earned it. I deserve it now. Only now I'm worthy of it. Only now I'm good enough to have it. So there is always that story of I am not good enough right now, today, to have what I want. So in order for me to be worthy of it, I have to do all these things. So that was the place where I was coming from. From a place of unworthiness. From a place of not good enough. So I had to do all those things. It was a different energy. It wasn't an energy of just being, just knowing that the universe or God or whatever you believe in is willing to give it to you just because you asked, not because you did all those things. But when we feel unworthy, when we feel not good enough, we always come with that energy of, I will deserve it after I've done all these things. And we want to, to become worthy, we forget that we are always worthy. We have always been good enough, just the way we are. As soon as we wake up, we are good enough for anything we want. But we don't believe in that. And it's just not, it's not only about the law of attraction or all the techniques. In general, in life, that's what we do. We want maybe to make a certain type of income we should just have it because we, we are good enough when, now, right now, to make all the money we want to make. But we don't believe in that. So what we do, okay, now that I want this, in order for me to deserve it or to be good enough to have that kind of money, I probably need a second or a third job, probably need to, need to work 
extra hours. I need to do all these things in order for me to become good enough for that kind of money. And that way I will have a story to validate that I deserve this. I will say, oh my gosh, I worked this many hours. Don't, when people will be like, oh my gosh, great job, you, you made it. You will have a story like, in, we have to really pay attention even how we react when people congratulate us or appreciate us or give us a compliment. How we react, those are the, that's how we see how we feel about ourselves how not worthy we feel. We always want to justify. Yeah, yeah, but I worked hard for that. Yes, but, you know, I did my affirmations every morning for 21 days. I, you know, I wrote it down 100 times a day for a week. I don't know whatever technique you are using. I had a vision board. I visualized all those things for this many times in order for it to happen. Don't get me wrong. All those techniques work great and they they are they are good the problem is where where do you see yourself in that picture which energy are you bringing in that's probably why we 95 94 percent of the people and i was one of those people at some point don't get results because they come from a place of unworthiness they want all those things they put on a vision board they be, want those things they write down and set intention to have. They want all those things. They make affirmations for every morning. They want them. But they, they do all those techniques from a place of I'm not worthy. If I don't do these things, I will not deserve what I want. If I do not follow the, all these steps, I don't do all these techniques, I will not have it. So I have to be really uh, uh, disciplined about this. I have to oh, do all these things in order for me to deserve it. And when people will say, oh great, how did, you, how did that happen? That's just incredible. Oh my gosh, I was so serious for 21 good days I was doing this. And we'll have all these incredible videos on YouTube telling us this, this is what I did in order for me to have that. Because you always come from a place of unworthiness. But manifestation is not about techniques. Or whatever we want in life is not about what we do. Is about who we are. You have to come from a place of knowing, not simply believing, but knowing that you are good enough for anything you want in life. You are good enough. When you come from that place of knowing that you are good enough, you don't need to struggle. You don't need to work too hard. You don't need to they do your affirmations for 30 or 40 or how many days or for, have a vision board for a whole year. Some people set an intention in the morning and they see that happen in the afternoon. Those are the people that know we are enough. They don't need to do anything to have what they want. I can hear you. I can hear people say, but you still have to do things. Yes, you still have to do things. Again, my point is not that the things or the actions we take are wrong or shouldn't be taken. They should probably should, and they definitely should be taken. You should do something, you whatever. You should probably go to work. You should wake up in the morning, at least get up from your bed and do something. You should do all those things. But how, who are you while you're doing all those things? Because look at this. Let's look at this picture. You have one person, probably me a few, few months ago, a few years ago, me all doing all the techniques of the law of attraction, affirmations, writing down, declaring, setting the intention as soon as I wake up in the morning. And you have another person that just say in the morning, I want it and have it in the afternoon. And I do it for 21 days and I don't have any results, even though the whoever was teaching that told me, you do this in 21 days, you get the result. Two pictures, two people doing the exact same thing. One person does it for 21 days and not get, it doesn't get any results. Another person doesn't even do it for one day. Start set the intention in the morning. By the end of the day, the thing just shows up. What's the difference here? The difference is not the technique. The technique is the same. Both of them woke up in the morning, wrote down the intention, set the intention, did the affirmations, but one person didn't have to wait 21 days. Another person had to wait 21 days, and still, they didn't get it. So what's the difference here? So that's, that's my point. The, point. the problem is not what we do. 
The problem is not the actions we take. The problem is not all the techniques we want to learn, all the, the, the tricks and tips. I even had somebody text me this morning and say, give me a tip for, to, to, to get a promotion on my job. I didn't know what to reply to that because there is, it's not about a formula. I wish I had a formula, but there is no formula. There is no tricks or tips. But there is one real story, which is we should remember and know that we are good enough for whatever we want. Until we go back to that truth, until we actually believe and know that we are enough, we will still struggle. We will keep working hard. We will keep learning all those techniques and practice and all those new you know, informations about law of attraction and manifestation. We will keep doing all those things, keep doing them actively. And be still, we will still have a big number. 94% is a great, it's a, it's a huge amount. It's almost, it's like they say, almost nobody gets resolved from the law of attraction because 94% that's a huge number. But why is that? The problem is not the law of attraction. The problem is not the techniques. The problem is not that manifestation doesn't work. That's not the, the truth. The truth is the people, the problem is that too many people too many people feel unworthy. Too many people want to earn their worthiness. Too many people still feel like they need to do something in order to get something. Because we don't feel good enough, we think by doing those things, we will become good enough. We don't become good enough. We don't become worthy. We don't become good enough to manifest what we want. We don't become those things. We don't make those things happen because we did anything. We need to come from a place of deserving. We need to come from a place of worthiness. We need to come from a place of we are good enough right now. Not after we have done all the affirmations, not after we have drawn all the big vision boards, not after we have, you know, meditate for a month, not after we have done all of those great things. Again, those things are amazing. They are great. They are really good to do and practice. Especially my meditation is really good. So, but who are you when you are doing all those things? That was determine the people that get result and the people that don't. You don't get results because you do all those things. Some people get results doing those things and some people don't. So it's not about the things. It's not about what you do. It's who you are while you're doing it. So since we are talking about manifestation in this show, I really want us, before looking for techniques on how to attract the, the, the love of our life, how to manifest our dream home, how to manifest our dream car, how to get promoted next week, how to do all those incredible things before coming to look for tricks and tips and formulas. We really have to make sure while we will be doing all those incredible things that we we'll at some point talk about what are the techniques, what are the practices, before getting into that, we need to check what we say to ourselves and it's really simple to to think about it sometimes we don't even notice it but people come and say hey congratulations on your on your promotion it happened so fast how whoa usually people and you're like oh you know what i worked so hard because we don't feel good enough for that so we have to justify why it happened to us we shouldn't have it so the only reason why i got so it's such, you know, great opportunity. It's just because I work so hard. It's not because I know I don't deserve it. I know I'm not good enough for that. The only reason why I have it is because I did this. Oh my gosh, congratulations on your, on your beautiful, how did you get a, a house at this kind of, it's so expensive and oh my gosh, I got it, but only because I knew somebody, I knew the owner of the house, that's why I got this house. Because 
only me. I shouldn't deserve, I shouldn't have this kind of opportunity. I shouldn't have this kind of house. I shouldn't have this. I know that. But the only reason why it happened, the only reason why I have it is because I worked so hard. It's because I knew somebody that connected me and that's why. It's not about me. It's because of the thing that were done. It's because of, because of the person that I knew. It wasn't because of me, because I don't deserve this. I'm not good enough for this. And sometimes it's on the simple things that when people react or respond to, to compliments or congratulations that you realize how, how deep the problem is and we don't really realize it. Sometimes you just see somebody and you say, oh, you look beautiful. But what would they say next to that? Few people will say, oh my gosh, thank you. Some people will say thank you, but will say something after that to downgrade themselves. They say, oh, they, I really, I don't know. I mean, that's a, this is an old shirt. I mean, I've been wearing this like for what, two years? Why? Because again, I can't be beautiful. I can't be, I can't look good. Oh, if you think it's because of this shirt, even this shirt is not that great because I have it since two years. What does that have to do with you being, looking good? What does that have to do with you being beautiful? You're not beautiful because of a shirt, but because we don't feel, we never feel good enough for anything. And we don't realize it. Sometimes we're like, no, I, I'm enough. We repeat that like a, a mantra, I'm good enough, I'm enough. But all those little things show us how deep the problem is. How we really see ourselves. Simple compliment sometimes is hard to accept because we don't feel we deserve it. We go to a grocery store and we are struggling with all these bags. Somebody offers to help. Oh, no, no, I got this. Because even being supported, we don't feel that we deserve to be supported. We have to struggle. We have to make it happen on our own. So we go with that same energy on when the law of attraction and manifestation we want to make it happen. We want to get it done ourselves. We want to have a story to tell. Because if we just say, oh, I said in the morning, I wanted it, just showed up. It's not strong enough. It's not, it doesn't give us any value. It doesn't value our effort. It doesn't value, give us any, it doesn't make us worthy of the thing. We have to have blood and sweat attached to the story to make it a good story. We have to to be worthy of it. I, I was so serious and, and I, you know, I was disciplined about it for 21 good days. I was doing this, I was doing that. We had a process. That's why. So the people that don't have it, they don't, they, are not, they don't work hard enough. They were not disciplined enough. They didn't show up. I did all those things, so I deserve it. And that's how, and even the way, we, we, we react when other people have things. Tell us what we think about ourselves, our self-world. When people have great opportunities, are we just excited? And, oh my gosh, that's beautiful that it happened. Just like that, we didn't even think about it. It just showed up. But what do we usually do? We don't understand how that person got that. We didn't do anything because we feel like we always need to do anything. And we come with the same mindset in the manifestation process. We feel like we need to do something because we don't feel worthy enough. We don't think just being a human being, just breathing, just breathing, just being alive, it's enough for us to have anything. So we need to do something. We need to work on something. We need to do certain things in order to have anything. So when somebody I has something just like that without trying and say, I don't know, it just, it just showed up. I just woke up and I had that, you know, I had a message on my phone to come for an interview and then I got a job. We don't get it. So like, are you sure that's the whole story? Maybe he knew somebody. Maybe, because it cannot be. You have, something has to be done before. It can't be simple. It can't be easy. So we come with the same energy trying to manifest things. Because we come believing that it can be easy, not for me. I have to do all these things. I have to repeat this for 21 days. I have to do this. I have to, I have to, I have to in order for me to have. Because only me, only breathing, only being alive is not enough. I'm not enough. I don't deserve it right now. 
So I will deserve it after I have done this. And that's when we start giving ourselves because imagine you have done all those things and it didn't work. Now you feel broken. It works for everyone else, not for me. I don't know what is wrong with me. self it adds up and you feel more unworthy because you don't deserve anything. You're broken anyways. So how are you going to get anything? You're broken. You don't deserve it. You do, you do things that never work. Never works for you. It works for everyone else, not for you. So that's why I really want us to pay attention. And the simple, the, the, the one of the easiest way to, to know how we feel about ourselves, because it's not, it's not something we usually think about. We don't usually think, sit down and just ask ourselves, do I feel worthy? No. We don't ask those questions. We have things to worry about. We have bills to pay. We have appointments. We have phone calls. We have everything. Life is going on. So we don't sit down and ask, do I feel worthy? Do I you know, feel enough? We don't ask those questions. So sometimes what we can start doing from today and, and just pay attention. What do we think? What, what's the first thought that comes in our mind when somebody compliments us or, you know, or offers to help us? What do, you, what do you think? What's the first thing that comes into your mind? Do you just say thank you and genuinely feel that feel good about it? Or you want to always, oh, really? Oh, my hair, I don't know. I didn't wash my hair for a week. I don't know. What do you, what's your first reaction? That's the truth. That's you just because you don't think about it, just shows up. That means it's a feeling just, just express itself. You don't have to think about it because that's how you feel. You don't feel beautiful. So when somebody says you're beautiful, you're surprised. And you're like, really? With this shirt? With, with this hair? Really? Because you don't feel beautiful. How many times do you stand in front of your mirror looking at you, dressing up, and really look at you? You don't. You just stand there to make sure you have button your shirt properly, you know, the colors match, and then that's it. You're out. Pay attention to how you feel about yourself. Pay attention on... Uh, uh, and really think about it. Maybe somebody will not compliment you today for you to practice that. But just remember, maybe in the last few days, if somebody said something nice to you, how did you react? How did you accept that compliment? How did you, you know, take it? Did you really like it? Did you really enjoy that? What emotions that came out from that? Did you? Some people will say, "Oh no, you're kidding. Really? You know, you can't be serious. So stop kidding. Because it's a lie. You know, it's a lie. You know, you're not beautiful. You know, you don't." You're not that great. You know, you know your outfit is not good. So the person is just making up a story to make you feel good. So think about those events where maybe somebody offered to support you, maybe helped you carry it back, and you said no. Somebody offered to pay for your drink, and you said no. What was the, the, how did you feel about that? And start paying attention to those little things and see how you see yourself. Do you feel like you deserve to be complimented? Do you feel like you deserve to be supported? Do you feel like you deserve for people to pay attention to you and you know, be nice to you? Do you feel you deserve those little things that just show up for you to feel good? Because what is the main reason why we want to manifest all those great things in our lives? We want to feel good. And do you feel that you deserve to feel good? Do you believe that you deserve that? Do you have worthy to feel good, simply feel good without working too hard for that? And another thing that exercise that you can practice is really sit down and write. What am I thinking of? What do I think about myself? And write everything that you think about yourself. Some point, you'll be surprised with what will come out from that really literal exercise. Some people don't really love themselves and they don't, we don't think about those things. Those are not the things we stop during the day or before going to bed or when we wake up in the morning. What do I think about myself? We have too many things to worry about. We have too many issues to solve. We have too many things to manifest. So who has time to sit down and look back inside and find out what do I think about myself? How do I feel about my, myself? Do I think I'm smart? Or every time I make a mistake, I say, how stupid is that? 
those are little things we don't really pay attention to, but those are the, we say those things to ourselves because that's how we feel about ourselves. I'm too stupid. I'm not smart enough. So how can I have this? I'm not smart enough. I'm not uh, uh, fast enough. I'm not this. I'm not that. I'm not bottom line. I'm not good enough. I'm not. So we come again with that same energy, practicing the law of attraction, trying to manifest things with the energy of, I am not good enough now for whatever I said I want it. So I have to work hard for it. I have to do all these things. But we are good enough right now, today, to have anything we want to manifest. And it's ready, right there. As soon as we say we want it, it's there. But it's just for us to know, to remember that we are good enough for all of it. We don't need to do anything in order to have that. We don't have to. So that's what I wanted us to talk about today. And really remember that while we are trying to manifest things, while we are looking for all those formulas, while we are practicing all those things, it's not about all those formulas. It's not about all those techniques. It's not about all those books or videos we're going to watch. It's really about us remembering that we are good enough for anything we want and come from that place before practicing all those techniques. Come from a place of worthiness. Come from a place of knowing that we are good enough for the life we want to manifest. Thank you so much for watching, for watching this episode. See you uh, next week, uh, same time, for Real Talk Manifestation at Speak Up and Empower. And again, if you are watching this live, post your comment. If you're watching a replay, post replay. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll come back and answer your questions. It was a great pleasure. And thank you so much. See you next week. Same time, same place. Bye.